a snack size video in Unreal Engine 4. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a camera shake. I have loaded up my project from my series, Making Your First Game. It's got some few added extras, um, such as this door with its particle effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a camera shake as the door goes into the ground. Fortunately, camera shakes are very easy to accomplish. To do this, we need to right click or go to add new and choose a new blueprint class. In your all classes search box, search for camera shake and select it. I'm going to name this one, I'm going to call my one door shake and open it up. Now the door shake, uh, well in this case the camera shakes, uh, these have all the settings available to you for how it will shake. So I won't go through every single thing we've got here, but the general gist of it is we have uh, a single instance of whether you want this to just be the only shake that happens or do you want it to overwrite it every time you play it. Um, oscillation duration, this is how long the shake is going to last for. Okay, If it's uh, less than zero, it goes on forever. If it's zero, there's no uh, shake whatsoever. So I'm going to change this one to be uh, a value of three seconds because that's how long it takes my door to go into the ground. You have a blend in and a blend out time. These control how quickly it takes for the shaking to fade out and fade in. And then we have the oscillation controls. So this is how the camera is going to move during the shake. We can control its rotation, location or field of view. For my door shake, I'm just going to change my Z value in my location. So here in each one of these we have the amplitude, frequency, initial offset and the wave form. Amplitude is the value that's going to come out of your wave. Waves by default go from a range of minus 1 to 1. So this multiplies it by that value. I'm going to put in a value of 3. This means it's going to move, well, I guess it's essentially 3 units up and 3 units down from its standing point. The frequency is how frequently is it going to shake every second. So if I type in 50, it's going to shake 50 times in a second. Then I have initial offset, and this is whether to start the wave at zero or random. I'll leave it at random. And the waveform, this determines what wave you want to use, a purling noise or a sine wave. A sine wave is more consistent and you'll get a constant shake, whereas a purling noise is completely or like really random. Okay. So I'm going to leave that as it is, as I've got there, so I've got a duration of three seconds. And I've got an amplitude and frequency in the Z value for location oscillation of 3 and 50. Hit compile and I'm going to close this. I'm then going to edit my door. Now on my door I have a timeline and the timeline has a begin door opening uh, event. This uh, activates the animation and particle effects for the door opening. So I'm going to attach my shake to this. To make the camera shake all you can do is drag out and type in shake. And you want to use the node play world camera shake. On this node, we have a shake class, which we can choose our door shake. The epicenter, so where is this shake originating? And this will determine uh, the shake value based on the player and uh, where they are. Note it goes by where the camera location is, not where the actor is. So if you're doing a third person uh, player game, take that into account. So the epicenter for this door like, shaking is going to be door itself, so I'm going to go get actor location. The inner radius and outer radius. Everything inside the inner radius is going to be ignored in the shake. So I'm going to leave that at zero. The outer radius, everything outside of the outer radius uh, is going to be um, uh, unaffected. But if it's inside the outer radius and outside the inner radius, it's going to be affected. So I'm going to put in a value of 500. And fall off is how uh, how it affects the uh, how how the effect it changes as it gets closer to the outer radius. And if you want to orientate it so the shake uh, is going to be pointing towards the epicenter instead of going forwards, this is especially true if you're doing uh, like rotation oscillation. Uh, this is what you want to tick for this. But I'm going to leave that is all the sense I need for my door. Compile and I'm going to play. I can pick up my key. Open my door, and now the camera shakes 
selling the idea of this big heavy door going into the ground. And that's all there is to it. Use the camera shakes wherever you want. They work best when you're dealing damage, receiving damage, anything like that. And don't forget to try them out. If you like this video and want to see more from my channel, then make sure you subscribe and like this video. If you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where one dollar will get access to many videos such as this, plus much, much more. Big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons for their support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.